in this case March 1st, will be all of our reversing entries so that if you're looking for our adjustments and reversals, they will be e easy to find. And so that's going to be what we'll be doing here. So we'll go, go back to the practice tab now. So la this is where we left off. We've got unearned revenue up by the 450. Let's take a look at the subledger just to get a better idea of that subledger related to accounts receivable. Undo that. Related to accounts receivable all the way on the right hand side. You'll recall that we have these two customers, Smith and, and Eric Music. We had to look at the subledger to determine if we had any of these advanced payments in the accounts receivable. We determined that we did for 450. Then we, we increased the accounts receivable by that amount and then, and then increased the liability by that amount to adjust for it. But if we record this into the accounting system, they're going to force us to, to hit the subledger or may, like a QuickBooks would make us hit the subledger if we used an accounts receivable account. And bookkeepers are always afraid of that. Like if you're working with a bookkeeper and you're saying, I'm trying to make the financials correct for presentation purposes. Would you enter my adjusting entries? They're going to say, oh no, they put something to accounts receivable and I, and I don't want to do that because it's messing up the subledger. So you want to be able to, to recognize that and say, okay, we're not going to hit the subledger for those actual customers possibly, but possibly make another customer so that we entered into the subledger over here as of the end of the period for these two adjusting entries we did and then we would reverse it the day after so this customer hopefully will clear out and it won't be an actual customer that will mess up the the accounting department or you could create another account called accounts receivable but not have it an accounts receivable type of account so that you don't need the accounts receivable subledger for it so those are two methods you can kind of use so i'm going to go all the way to the right or the left i should say and we'll do our reversing